Okay, we're going to look at the next question in the Eastern Cape, um, paper 1, 2020. And it's a question about a quadratic pattern, a quadratic sequence. The first question is write down the next two terms of the pattern. Well, if you get these, if they give you these, the first, second, third, and fourth term like this, your job, first job is just to lay it out and make that triangle. So you go 86, 119, 150, 179. You just subtract the second term minus the first term, you get 33. Third minus the second is 31. Fourth minus the third is 29. And hey, that's pretty good. Those are called the first differences. And then 31 minus 33 is minus 2. 29 minus 31 is minus 2. Our second differences are minus 2. And when they go constant, you know you've got a quadratic sequence. Well, now we can look at this pattern, 33, 31, 29. The next number must be 27. And then we just go 179 plus 27 gives us the next term, 206. And the next one, we must add 25. 206 plus 25, there we've got it, 231. Then it says, determine the general term. And we've got this trick where we let 2a equal minus 2, 3a plus b equal to 33. A plus B plus C equals 86. And you just learn this thing. 2A equals minus 2. You solve that equation. Divide by 2, you get A is minus 1. Now that you know A, you put it back in here. 3 times minus 1 plus B equals 33. Well, you add 3 to both sides of that equation, and you get B is 36. Then you put minus 1 in for A, 36 in for B. You get 35. You take that away from 86. And you get 51. Now that you know A, B, and C, you can just write out your answer. The formula is minus 1 and squared, that's your A, plus B, which is plus 36 and plus the C, which is 51. The next question says, which terms of the pattern has a value of 326? Well, all you do is you let 326 equal the formula. Take away 51, add n squared, take away 36 and now, this is actually an easy number to factor. You might not know your times tables up to, for 275, but there's a button on your calculator called um, the factors button. You put in 275, press equals, and then press shift. And just below the square root sign, it'll turn it into 5 squared times 11. Well, there's your answer. 25 times 11, that gives you 275. And minus... They both have to be minus to make a plus and minus 25. There's your answer. N equals 25 and N equals 11. Hey, you could have just used the quadratic formula, put in 36 plus, put it into the formula, you get N equals 25. When you put in the minus, you'll get 11. So you could use get 25 and 11 by the quadratic formula. So the 25th term and the 11th term give you 326. The last question is, this person um, adds a constant to each of the terms. How is that going to change the formula? Well, you know, if you add a constant, just add a constant to the formula. Everything else would be the same. If you just added the same number to all the terms, the first and second differences wouldn't change. So that means the formula, the only thing in the formula that would change is you'd have 51 plus K. And that's actually an easy question. I put in the explanation. Hey, the memo was funny. They did the whole thing again um, with a with a tree, and it feels like it should be worth five marks, but it was only two marks. So just add K. That's what you would do. Just add K. Hope this helps.